Hi everybody, this is Coach McCurry from Baseball by the Yard and today's tip is for coaches and players who want to more accurately figure out what the pop times are on steal attempts down at second base. Now, a lot of coaches have used stopwatch here to calculate not only how long it takes the pitcher to get the ball to the catcher, but also how long it takes the catcher to catch the ball and make the throw down to second base. Now, typical times might be uh, one and a half seconds by the pitcher to get the ball to the catcher, and then a good time for catchers to shoot four down to second base is two seconds. So one and a half seconds plus an additional two seconds, that is three and a half seconds. Now what coaches will try to do is figure out, all right, well, if it takes three, three and a half seconds for my runner to go from first base to second base, and it takes the pitcher and catcher three and a half seconds to get the ball down to second base, a lot of coaches are hesitant. Uh, about having that guy steal. But here's the flaw in a lot of pop times, is they do not, in many cases, take into account the tag at second base. Now, if you have a stopwatch at home, I want you to pause the film here, and I want you to go get the stopwatch. You got it? Are you back? Okay, here's the experiment I want to do. Now, I'm going to be a second baseman or a shortstop receiving a throw by the catcher down here at second base. I'm gonna throw the ball up in the air and I want you to start the stopwatch when the ball makes contact with the glove and then I want you to stop the stopwatch when my glove hits the ground. So start, stop, okay? Now you gotta be quick on the stopwatch. Okay, ready? Here we go. What was the time? Wanna try it again? Here we go. Okay, chances are good it was in the maybe 0.3 to 0.5 seconds. Now, let's take a look at a throw that is a bit more realistic at the high school level even. Let's have a throw over here. So it sets up, again, you're gonna hit the stopwatch when I catch the ball and stop it when my glove hits the ground. Okay, ready? Okay, let's try it again. What'd you come up with now? My guess it's probably about 0.5 or maybe even higher. The point is many coaches forget to take into account that extra time that it's gonna take the fielder to catch and make the tag. And I just showed you, even on fairly good throws to second base, it can add anywhere from 0.3 to 0.6, 0.7 seconds, which of course you have to add to that time. So if a runner takes three and a half seconds to get to second base, and the pitcher and the catcher take three and a half seconds, with the tag, that runner is gonna easily make it to second base. So when you're figuring out pop times, don't forget to add the time it takes to actually make the tag.